Hello world! Wave time here, bringing to you another episode of EE Power. So, I'm going to do the final finishing touches, well, not finishing touches, but reintroducing some little bit of sanity with our machine because pretty much it wasn't working because we forgot a lot of things, we needed to get everything, and because of the giant freaking explosion that rocked through everything, I think we're managing to get everything back and ready. So we got about 61, uh, can't really say leaders, but excuse me if I say leaders at any time in the future. Basically, we have 61 units of biofuel that will be enough to kickstart some operations in the future. Though we have 307 nice fancy liters of uh, fuel. Some regular old-fashioned fuel that will be useful in the future. Now let's go to our nice little industrial craft room and finish some extracting over here so that we can get a bit more rubber in the future. Are we missing anything other than the gold dust that I don't think we need right now? It doesn't seem like that. So let's change that uh, key that we forgot to do. Where is it? Boost key? No, mode switch. It's not M, but we will go with backslash. There we go. That's much better. So now we're getting a lot of coal coke right now, and we're currently blasting up another stack of steel. We're almost to the point where we can get everything uh, working in some fine quality and quantity and our quarry is going at such a pace that we're going to need to actually put some pipes into our little uh, storage room. Now I'm not going to go really gun ho on all the stuff that we can do with this because I want to in the future put this to a red power sorter because currently it's very low tech with build craft pipes and I don't like just using build craft pipes. Now another thing that we can do eventually when we have all the sandstone cleared is have it so that it's eating all of our cobblestone because cobblestone is something that we don't need anyways. So actually since we have enough cobblestone already let's just take some of this and all the cobblestone will also go down in this direction. Because frankly, we don't need this much cobblestone. Let's go back and work on our situation that we managed to concoct. Now, I will want to get some of our apiaries going eventually, though we don't really have any sort of breeding program that we can do as of yet, so we're probably going to have to wait a bit for that. Now, if only I could have some use for the wood that we have there, it'd be all much better. So, to start off with, let's look at what we have right now. We have a little bit of buildcraft energy. In fact, we do not have any buildcraft energy whatsoever now. We need some way to actually create all the buildcraft energy that we're going to produce. So, what I'm thinking of doing is we'll go all... Uh, techie and make a boiler to make everything go a lot better. Now what we're going to want to do is go for a liquid type boiler right here, liquid fuel firebox, which will require steel plates and iron bars and fire charges. Fire charges we can make with blaze powder, gunpowder, and coal or charcoal. So what do we have in those regards? Miscellaneous chests, we have a lot of coal, and we got some gunpowder, though we're going to need to get a bit more of blaze powder, so it looks like we're going to have to go for another stint in the nether. Won't be too bad, we need a total of three of it, right? Yeah, we need three. Also, we're going to need a lot of steel plates. Steel plates is something we're going to need a lot of, and I do mean a lot of. So let's get a healthy supply of steel plates. Gonna need to go all gun ho on this. Easily we'll use all of the amount that we'll get from this. 
So let's wait for this process. I'll go get some blaze powder. Won't be too difficult to do. And then we'll have to fix and rectify our nice little build craft energy hole, so to speak. Oh, I actually had blaze powder in here already. I didn't know that. Well, at least it saves me uh, having the trouble of going out and trying to go to Nether and reigniting my Nether portal, because I think that is currently uh, not activated anyway. So let's go and grab most of the stuff that we're gonna need. We're gonna need gunpowder, coal. Let's check this, and we'll need iron bars, fern eye. So nine fern eye in total. That'll be easy enough to create, so let's see, here we go, La -da -da. we're going to go with the biggest furnace that we can, biggest boiler, rather, so nine of these, and how many are we going to need of those, that will get eight, but we're going to need more than that, so here we go, and first of all, we should create those right now, here we go, fire charges. Now, we'll need all of the steel plates that we can. So, 64 we have right now, but we will need more later. So, let's go with this. I think that's the right configuration. We'll know in a second. Uh, let's see. Buckets. Buckets. Lots and lots of buckets. How many can we put there for now? Hey, did I say you could go there? No, I did not. And you don't really have many places left, do you? Uh, I guess I will have to make as many buckets as I can. Okay. Oh, they stack. Sweet. I didn't know they stack now. <laughs> That's actually very useful. So, let's see. Steel plates. Going around like here. We'll have our fire boxes and... Liquid fuel fire boxes. Not bad, not too shabby, not too shabby. And these are done. I think we'll keep with this for now until we realize how many more we'll need. So how are we going to... Hmm... You know, with having this destruction at our fingertips, it might give us a few ideas to actually remodel this area. Let's see, any of these lacking in energy? Eh, I guess it doesn't matter. So let's get our wrench out of here. We obviously don't need anything there. But it'd be a good idea to just take all of these out of here for now. Until we can figure out something else to do with them. Uh, let's take actually keeping our jetpack would be a good idea. Now I think for temporary measures, uh, do we have anything else that can be used from this? Yes, we do in the sense that it will still need a bit more power. How much do we have? 64 buckets about. Hmm. Eventually I might want to move this down, but currently I can't really do that. So let's try to think of an uh, alternative. I don't want this out in the open necessarily, though it might be easier to uh, work on if it was out in the open, so to speak. Let's get all these flowers out of the way and plug up the hole a bit. Okay, now I was debating a bit, really, and I decided that it's probably best to keep everything out in this area so that we can keep things serviceable. Now I will move this thing eventually, but currently it is being in use. We don't really have any other way to work on it. So let's put our fire boxes for now down on the ground and we'll have our uh, boiler go here. Eventually we'll just feed it through this way and have all that yummy fun stuff coming out there. Now, we will want to first figure out how we'll start it up. So we will need a furnace, uh, not a furnace, some sort of pump that will be running off of the energy that will come off of this. Now let's try to get this as big as possible first. 
Let's calculate the biggest part though. Let's see, it's 9, 18, 27, 36 in size. So this is 32, and here's 36. So let's construct that easily, like that. And let's actually go double in size right away. We got number one, but we're going to make it bigger anyways. Okay, here we go. We got our big, big, big boiler here. Steam, etc. We'll have lots of fun. Now let's see over here what we have. Do we have any sort of pump? No, we do not. So we will need to figure out some better way to pump everything. Okay, we got some more wheat, which we can just throw into the hopper for later. Hopper, hopper. There we go. Helping hopper. Helping the hopper. Uh, I'm going insane. Let's go back over here. Okay, it looks like the energy that we have for here is completely out. So we're going to need to refuel that. This cell doesn't have anything anyways, so not like we can do anything. And let's uh, get a stack of wood from here. And go out and make some of our stuff. We're going to... Now, I did some calculations, and two high-pressure boilers are required for one industrial steam engine. Let's get you out of the way. Get out of here. I do not need your kind. And, of course, you have to litter all over the place. Stupid sheep. I think we have enough creosote oil. Anyways, as I was saying, two of these walls is enough for one single industrial steam engine. Let's look at the engines, which we will be using. Engine. Engines away. Um, let's see. That's commercial industrial steam engines. Here we go. Now, that means, since there's 36 of these boiler components, we will need 18 of these fancy little doodads to be able to get all the energy from it. That's a lot. So, 18 of these. That means we'll need 36 steel gears, which is a lot. So 36 steel gears, which would mean we need about this many wood, and we'll combine them all and turn them all into gears. That will be fun. So let's see. Da, 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 da. 32. 36. Now let's go over and get some more cobblestone. I'm pretty sure one of the shipments did bring in some cobblestone. Obviously, my assurances is a little misguided. So we're going to have to go back into here, grab some of ours. Hey, give me. Thank you. There we go, and let's see, go back, and now we can craft this, and we'll have our stone gears, then we'll need to make the steel gears. Once we have the steel gears, we'll be able to see how many steel plates that we need afterwards. I'm guessing it's a lot, because it doesn't look like we have enough steel currently to be able to make all that. We're going to have to wait for all these steel ingots thingies to be done. But let's, um, hmm. We should at least make some of these. Or at least balance it out. So, hang on, let's just make half of these for now. That'll at least give us some usage of the energy once we get it, even though it won't be entirely efficient, steam-wise. With that said, I think I'm going to do some testing to see if I can, after starting the boiling process, if I can actually restart it by adding on to it later. One moment. Okay, after doing some testing with uh, a test boiler in my test world, wow, there's a lot of test, test, test involved. Apparently, you cannot destroy a boiler and reconstruct it at a later date without destroying 
not its contents, but, well, its contents in the case of a liquid boiler such as that, this one, but more so it's, uh, hmm, how do I explain it in better terms? Say if I had only two layers and got it to like 100 degrees, you'd think that it just lowered to 60 or something when I put the other two layers on, but that's not the case. It completely destroys its data and thus you have to start with one size boiler. So I'm going to have to continually wait until all the steel is done, until everything's right. Now that being said, in the meantime I can just use half of its efficiency and I'll still be okay in the end. Not utility mode, dang it. So let's see, we'll turn half of these in. Or not even half, like, eh. We still have a lot of steel to go, let's just say that. Uh, okay, gonna need some more pistons, I'll make some more stuff. And then we'll see how this goes. Okay, let's see. Attach these, we'll need five of each for now. And we'll have five industrial steam engines. Still have a lot of room for growth, though that's for sure. Okay, I think it's probably best for us to make another chest because this chest has been turning into a junk chest instead of anything remotely useful. So let's throw in our junk instead. And these gears are the ones that's left over, so we'll just have to transform them later. So we have five industrial steam engines. I think it's probably safe to do a sixth one. So do I have my piston? Might as well get those pistons out and keep them with me because they will be useful, though all this stuff is not so much. Uh, let's see. Two more. It's probably safe to say that I'm going to need to do some calculations to see what I will need later because we only have like one third of the engines that we need. So let's put these here and at least thread them together in the configuration that we will have them. So we'll need to put this up, put this down, and there we go. So this will be the configuration that we will have eventually. Though moving it up might be a safe thing to do. So let's just do that. Ah, come on. Just break. It's not like you're useful or anything. Okay. If we go like this, of course, no matter which configuration I do, it decides to never be Correct. Okay, so all we'll need to do is put some levers on the sides and on top, and we'll have everything going. Now we'll just need a pump, and we'll need to do some calculations to see how many left steel-wise we need to be able to create all this. I think this is enough, though let's just do a little quick math to figure out what we need. We have 20 of these and we have two of these. Let's break out the calculator. Hmm. Doing the calculations, we need 106 more. That does not bode well for what we have currently. Let's get our coal coke, the remainder of it. And looking at this, if we just wait for everything, we should be able to get all the coal coke. That will be required for everything. Okay, so where's the remaining coal coke? Right here. Might have to make another blast furnace, but we will need some more iron in the... Uh, we will need more iron. Let's just leave it at that. More iron to finish everything, and then to bring the fuel repository over there. We'll need some more pipes, which is honestly not too difficult of a thing to accumulate, so to speak. Though we still are lacking in the steel that we require. So probably waiting will be a good thing to do, though it takes three minutes per, I think. 
So that's about an hour for 20. I guess I can remodel the place while that's happening. Maybe get things a bit more sane, so to speak. Or, better yet, think of something better to spend my time with, because just doing this waiting for power is not a good use of my time. So what I'm probably going to need to do is just simply do something a little rambunctious in the sense that, hmm, that could work. Okay, to keep things moving nicely along, I decided to put the world anchor right here so that I'll be able to keep things, you know, nice and relaxed when I am gone from this nice area that will pretty much be the death of me. Okay, now another thing that I think would be a good idea is to have the quarry not run at full power but divert some of its energy into these energy cubes. The reason for this is because, sure, we need iron eventually from the quarry, but we will need energy in the meantime. So just diverting like half of the energy from these will probably be good, or probably something else that we can do, which is a bit better, is to have this run on overdrive, meaning we do have one extra one of these combustion engines which we can use and this seems like it's constantly going it doesn't seem like it's using too much water it only takes it uh, like once every four seconds and since it's constantly chunk loaded there's not as much of a likelihood that it'll explode just by adding one more engine so let's see where are our engines engines hello do I have to remake you? I do not have the iron to do so. Therefore, you need to capitulate, dang it. Wait. I didn't see that I had that much extra steel with me. Oh my goodness. I am such a herp -a derp Okay, so. We'll be able to make a few more of these than we planned. So let's get these at least going at some sort of pace. Oh, crud. I forgot about that. We are going to need some of our energy. So let's, might as well, get our iron engine that we were going to get anyways. Iron engine, iron engine. I am sure you are somewhere very close by. There you are. And some of that. And do we have any gates? Yes, we do. So one gate to the rescue. And then we can pull the energy from our cube that we will have down. Blah, 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 blah. Let's go in and rectify this. So just a simple extra one here. Put this down. Turn you around. And we're going to need the gate. And let's see. When our engine, when there is liquid in the tank, we'll want a redstone signal. And let's go back to make sure everything is going well. It should be within the chunk loaded radius. Which is my anchor key? I'm not sure. It's probably something important. Eh, oh well. Let's go back, see. They're all running. And this will have some energy, etc. But wait, is this working? Yes, it is. So let's at least grab this so that we can have our rolling machine going. Place this down. Okay, what was that key? Okay, so we are in the chunk loaded area. Finish our rolling machine maneuvers. And we should be able to get half of our gears down. Ah, oh, there we go. Not half of our gears, but you know what I mean. Hopefully. If you don't, I'm kind of jabbering to no one in particular, aren't I? Okay. Get this. Get this. And we will have enough for all of these. We will have more than enough. We can probably make a lot more than what we have. So once we get this, we can put this along as well. 
just have it like so and bring this so that it's all on it. Turn you around and you around and we got more than we got half of it. Let's say we got half of it. That will be good. Now this engine isn't going because I forgot to lever it together. As well get that going because we will need more uh, fuel into that. And we will probably use something similar to just go under. In fact, going under might be a good thing to do. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Ah, we're just lacking the amount we need, so let's just get it, most of it over there, and we'll just need to, hey, it's not really listening to me, is it? It's just like it has a mind of its own. Get away from me. Ah, I probably need you anyways. Okay, so let's get our nice path over. I said nice path, thank you. And this is pretty much as far as we need to go. So just bring it over like so. Mm. Could probably have it work a bit more to our favor by having it go from here down. Might work, actually. Let's try that, see if the math works a bit better. Okay, over here. Can you... Why aren't you breaking? It's like you don't want to be broken for some reason. I'm not sure why that would be. Okay. Um, we are one, two, three, four away. Whereas we have two pipes. So we're going to need to make a few more pipes and actually stop the ground from being a little broken. I can fix that easily. Actually, one, two, three. Yeah, we'll need three more pipes. So get the waterproofing ready, waterproof them up, get the actual pipes, and then get that sorted. La 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 la. Okay, here we go. And now that I think of it, it's not ready to start, so let's break something so that it won't be able to start right away. We don't want that to happen because once fuel goes in there, it'll actually start the process, meaning that there will be no control over the steam, and we will want to have some marginal amount of control over our actual steam production, so I think let's just close this off, and we'll know where we need to put the stuff. So let's get this pipe in. Fuel will go at least slowly to where it needs to go. We'll eventually need to turn this into a non-stone uh, pipe because stone is a little tacky in this situation. And also, this thing is out of energy again, so we're going to need to go out and refuel it again. Thank you very much for your patronage. Have a nice day. Okay. Hey, stop that. Okay, so where is it? Okay, here we go. Place this down. And how much Ben? Yeah, we have some stored energy in that. That's not too bad. And we'll just leave that for a while. How is our infinite water source going? Good. We'll just say good for that. Okay, here we go. So now we're going to need some water in here. And I'm thinking energy will come out like so or something like that. Eh. Tacky? Perhaps. You need to have it coming out somewhere and maybe from the back isn't the best. Actually let's have that as the front and it comes out like so and then goes into the ground and etc. Now when it goes into the ground it's going to need to power uh, something down here called a pump and I'm thinking having it as a simple pump non aqueous accumulator will be a sufficient thing so let's clear the space for a pump at least and get this blocked off a bit we're gonna need some water there 
And we got one bucket at least, so let's do the stuff that we usually do when it, this is the case. And just go crazy. Okay, we got our source in place, so all that's left to do is just bring this under like so. We'll have the pump right here, so we'll need one of those. Ips. And the pump will go right there. So assuming this doesn't blow up, and if it does, let's just say this. It, this thing, the boiler, acts in the fact that if new water is added when there isn't any water and it's above 100 degrees centigrade, let's go centigrade. Centigrade Celsius doesn't really matter. Anyways, when it's above that threshold, it the boiler just blows up because the water turns instantly into vapor and just kills the system a little bit, which is not a good thing for it to happen. So, the thing is, if the pump doesn't work, as in if there's no water, this doesn't blow up, it just stops and becomes entirely inefficient because nothing is actually working, which is not a good thing to happen. Hmm, no, it isn't. Huh. So we're probably going, we will need to, well, we're going to have to make it cool down until it gets to that point. But cool down period compared to absolute disaster, I'll let you figure out which one you need to pick. Hmm. I think we have enough for some more gears, so let's get that. And we might have to wrap up without doing anything strenuous. So here's our stone gears. Here's that. And we'll just have to turn all of this. And it looks like we are slightly less than fortunate in that regard. So all the energy is just stored in the conduits that don't really have anything. We might have to wait for two more of these before we can get anything else. Uh, this might be enough. I don't know. Yeah, it's enough. Okay, that's good. Okay, so we got eight more plates and eight more gears. Uh, rather enough for one more engine after this. So we are moving along. We're almost done this. We just need six more engines to be entirely efficient. Now this pipe is going to need to go to some sort of recharging station. Now to be not so tacky, I think we'll have it so that there will be like a bunch of conduits peeking out of here being able to just plop down energy cells to recharge. We should eventually have enough energy to be purely awesome. And speaking of which, uh, how's this going? That's actually going well. We're going through all of our stuff. We might want to take this pump out of here, though, eventually. I think I'll take this pump, steal it for now, and just take this pipe out of the way so that, because we can't really use it anyways, and actually start the process here in getting water into this boiler because water into the boiler will be a much sought after thing. So that's done. Just need to put stuff out and get our energy cell. Where's our energy cell and how much do you have? You have a noteworthy amount and this isn't failing so let's get that. place this down right here for now and start the pumping process. This will require 144 buckets worth so we might as well start that up. Then this might be ready to start up honestly. We will just need a few more levers to get all of that. Maybe have it a little less tacky. In fact let's go with the non-tacky version right away. Ah, I didn't want buttons. That is not what I wanted. Curse you! Ah, okay, there we go. Okay, how many are we gonna go with right away? 16? Sure, why not? Redstone. 
and probably embroider the top with some stone bricks. Maybe have this part of the ceiling once everything's done, but for now, just having redstone like this will work. Obviously, they won't start because they don't have any steam, but I think we'll be able to change that eventually once everything's working at an optimal capacity. So, I think that's good. Now, a few things about this boiler once we get everything going. Well, number one, the startup will be started by all this fuel. If we don't have this fuel, obviously, well, it can't really start up, and I think it only takes 21 buckets of this fuel from my own calculations and observations to be able to have this started and running at full, uh, not full speed, but 100 degrees Celsius. The other part of it is that eventually we're going to have it running off a of biofuel. We'll need to have a much better system to handle all the biofuel, but I think it will be easy enough to do. Now let's see, where is that pipe? Uh, da, 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 da. Okay. Well, that's all the time we have for this episode of EE Power. If you like what you see, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe to future episodes. We have time here. Signing off. Have a wonderful day. It's alive! Mwahahaha! <laughs>